Alright, I'm back. Another uh, Madden 15 gameplay. Uh, New York Giants against the uh, Browns. Um, I don't know. I, I, I watched the Giants game uh, against the Lions, and I expected to see some sort of improvement um, on offense, you know, because we really didn't see much in the preseason, but, man, I got to tell you, their offensive line looks just as bad, if not worse, than last year. Um, it's, I don't know. If they, they better make some big leaps, big leaps uh, and improve pretty quickly if they're going to have any kind of chance of doing anything this year. I'm not saying playoffs. I'm just talking about having a respectable record. Um, because if it keeps going like that, I mean, they're just not going to get the job done. Eli threw two more picks. Um, one of them wasn't his fault. I mean, the guy just made some crazy play where it landed on his arm. And uh, his receiver never even turned around and looked for the ball. And the second one, you could say it was his fault. It probably was. But it wasn't all his fault. As soon as he snapped the ball, he's practically getting sacked. He's scrambling for his life. And he throws the ball out to Cruz. And the defender jumped the route and picked it off. So, was it his fault? Yes. He shouldn't have thrown the ball. But at the same time, he's, get, he's getting sacked basically, you know, every time he drops back. So, I don't know. Their, their offensive line is, is, is garbage right now. I, didn't, I don't think their defense really played all that bad. They played pretty decently against the run. Um, and, yeah, Calvin Johnson had a couple of big plays in that game, but some of those plays were, um, were broken plays you know, with Stafford scrambling all over the place. And, uh, you know, the two defenders bumped into each other. So, I mean, they really didn't play that bad, I don't think. I know the score doesn't look like it, um, but they did hold them to, you know, I think four or five three and outs in the third and fourth quarter, but the offense, again, couldn't do anything. And then you got Eli turning the ball over twice. So, um, their defense just got tired. So, I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Hopefully this week against Arizona, they play a little better. Hopefully they win. I don't know. Arizona came up with a huge win. Um, last minute win against the Chargers. So they're on a roll right now. And Fitzgerald's always a threat, so you got to watch him. But anyway, so let's get into the game here. It's uh, Browns Giants. And um, I want to try and get... Uh, I, I really... What I'm trying to do now is play some good, some good solid defense and make my opponents work for their touchdowns. Don't get beat you know, for a 50-yard bomb and um, and stuff like that. Make them work for it. Hopefully I get a stop and, um, you know, get down the field myself. And, again, I don't, I don't need to uh, hit a 50-yard bomb myself to score. I just want to I, I just want to keep pace and, and score some points and make my opponent work for it. Now, that right there should have been a sack. I don't know what the hell happened there. Uh, the defender just ran right past the quarterback, and he should have crushed him in the backfield. I don't even know what to say about that play. That was ridiculous. And that should have been either a bat, a batted down ball or an interception on the on the back end of it. But after the game, I'm going to go back and look at that replay and show you uh, the defender, the defensive lineman, just literally ran right past the quarterback and just let him stand there and throw the ball. So I don't know what the hell that was all about. But that was the big play that I was trying to avoid. And um, because my lineman doesn't get a sack, he just stand, you know lets him you know runs runs right by him. Then we get hit with with a huge gain. Doesn't hurry himself. So I got to really tighten up on defense here, and um, try now tr now try to hold him to a field goal. Should have had an interception. Should have had a sack. Didn't get either. But that's the Madden fuckery that we all know and love. There we go. There's my user pick. There's my user pick. Such an impressive athlete. All right, so now we're, now we're in good shape. I baited him into that, too, because what I did was I laid back a little bit, but I followed him across the field, and then I made my move. So, all right, we got our stop. Should have had a stop on the uh, previous couple of plays, but, you know, better late than never. So now what I really want to do is I want to try and establish the run, uh, you know, work the ball down the field a little bit, and uh, we'll see what happens. 
Now first and ten. We got our stop. The other thing that's good too about that stop is it's a first it's a first drive stop. We score here and we also get the ball back to start the second half, so we could be in pretty good shape here. And just throw the short <coughs> Good job by the quarterback so, taking advantage of this defense. I like Jennings. I thought I thought the Giants did do some good things with the running game last week, even though they couldn't pass protect for shit. Um, the running the run blocking was pretty good, but you see here now I get I get uh, taken down for a three yard loss. Not a good way to start. So I try and hit a little a screen play here. The Browns with a nickel look here on defense. See what happens. There you go. I got my screenplay, and I had a couple blockers in front of me. So that's a nice little pickup. I got nine yards. I'll take it. Third and short is, is pretty decent. Now this guy is playing. Um, you can see he's pitching his line in, so I don't really want to run the ball up the middle on him because chances are he's probably going to stop me. I have no faith that this offensive line is going to block for me. Now that's, that's another thing about the Giants offense right now. They're, their offense isn't whole. Schwartz is hurt on the line. Um, Beckham hasn't even seen the light of day yet. I don't know what his deal is. You know, if he's going to play or not, what his deal is. So we really don't know what their offense is going to be all about yet. Um, you can see I hit Beckham there, and that should be a touchdown if I can outrun this defender. Yes, touchdown. Nothing like it for a quarterback. Beckham's got speed. So. We don't know what the we, we 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 really don't know what the Giants' offense is yet this year because they're not whole yet. Beckham, he hasn't played all preseason. He's been hurt most of training camp. He's supposed to be out for I think another two weeks. I don't know how long Schwartz is going to be out. So we really don't know what their offense is yet. So it's you know after one game it's kind of hard to make judgments. But at the same time, I would have liked to see some improvement somewhere. But we're going to have to see that, you know, it. I, the term work in progress. You heard that all game last week. They kept saying, work in progress. I don't want to hear work in progress no more. you got a 10-year veteran quarterback, two-time uh, two Super Bowl MVP, and, ah, and he just, he, double move. I bit on the double move. I bit on the double move, and I, I got burned. <laughs> now, this guy's going to run a little hurry up because he thinks he's got me trapped in a base defense. first down. Smart move on his part, but if he tries for a double move again, I'm not going to bite this time. Now, I'm getting, I am getting uh, good pressure with my defensive line, but that running back right there was wide open in the flat. He could have, if he had caught that, he was, he's running for, he's running for days. There was nowhere to throw it. So, but anyway, so you got a 10-year veteran quarterback, two-time Super Bowl MVP. You got. Uh, Veteran wide receivers, and we still we can't protect we can't pass protect. So work in progress. You don't you don't have a work in progress with a ten year uh, veteran quarterback. I'm sorry, not one of his caliber either. Yeah, people are gonna say, oh, his stats are going down, they're declining. Yeah, you you guys play play with an offensive line that he's playing behind right now. And see if your stats don't decline. You know, so I, I kind of see what this guy's game is right now. He's gonna keep rolling out to the right. What I really should do, and I, it's it's a risky play, but I really should blitz one of my corners, and it'll take away that um, it'll take away that that edge rush or that rollout that he's doing. But it's scary. Oh, I got him though. I got him. I sent some heat, do uh, some some heavy heat off the right side. He couldn't protect against that. Quarterback falls down. And that was me. I uh, manually, I manually uh, ran him in. Because there was no way I was going to let him stand back there and drink a cup of coffee while he was waiting for someone to get, o uh, get open. Because if you notice, on the uh, previous plays, he's had a lot of time in the pocket to throw. So I got I to I gotta figure out a way to generate more heat. There you go, Pierre Paul. Uh, that's all right. That's all right. It's only a six-yard gain, third and long. Now he's going to have to go deep. And this guy, from what I can tell, he likes to sit in the pocket and wait for things to develop. But I'm trying to, you know, I don't want to give him that much time to do that. So, I got to stop here. 
If, he'll probably go for it on fourth down, depending on what happens here. If he picks up, you know, seven, eight yards, he's going to go for it on fourth down. If he doesn't, and he still goes for it on fourth down, that's a, that's a stupid move on his part. Because you're going to give me a short field. Oh, and we get the pick. And we get the pick. Come on, Beeson. All right, we're in good shape now. If I score here, chances are this guy's probably going to quit, which which is going to suck because I want to show you uh, that, that play earlier on the replay where I should have had a sack. But I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and put this guy away right now with this play. Beckham should should get open. Should get open unless this guy drops out in the zones. Ah, he got open, but I, I I just I waited too long to throw it. I saw the safety trailing him, so I I, I wanted to um. And he goes down for the sack. I want I, I should have threw that ball. But it's all right. It's only a six yard loss. Not, not as bad as his loss before where it was 10 yards. If I could pick up, you know, half of it back, you know, 7, 8 yards, I'll be in decent shape. Not great shape, but decent shape. And I got sacked again. <sighs> now, now I... Okay. This, this play is a little risky, but... It should get open. And it is. And I overthrew it. Oh, man, I overthrew it. It was open. And then he had a second chance at it, and he, he stripped the ball out. Damn. That's, that's exactly what I needed right there, too. That's a tight end seam. It's a play-action pass, but I, I overthrew to a, a tight end seam. And nine times out of ten, that that play that route gets open. Oh shit! Oh come on, touch the ball, touch the ball, touch the ball, touch the ball. Yes. Wait. Oh yes, stopped him at the one. Now. Now now I'm thinking safety. If I could bring some some heat off the uh, off one of the edges. He's not going to expect that. He's probably going to run the ball here, though, which is smart. If he tries to throw the ball here, that, that's stupid. But, yeah, no, he's going to try and run. He's got two tight ends set. Smart. Got to run it. Got to play it safe here. Got to play it safe here. <laughs> he's actually throwing it. And there's Cameron. Now, really? Knock him down, and he's still really? Come on. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just a, it, it gained a few yards, so... That's what you do. All hey, plays don't score. What? Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. And there he goes with the rollout again. Underneath that time. And what you do, He's panicking a little bit. Defense sometimes. Get up there it looks and like. Disrupt the receiver. Disrupt his rhythm. Disrupt the timing. And what do you get? I got to stop him here, though. I, I definitely got to stop him here. It's a two tight end formation. I, you know, I am in control of this game, but it doesn't feel like I am. Because I'm only up by seven points. Those two sacks really killed me on that last drive. Oh, God. See, pocket presence. I mean, the pocket presence of Jesus right now. Again, he should have been sacked. Just get one first down so we can get away from our end zone. Give our punter some room. There's no way I can let him go on a 99-yard drive here. There's no way I can do that. The only thing that's saving me right now is the guy's playing like an asshole. Who, who in the right mind doesn't... Uh, run the ball. He hasn't run the ball once, I don't think. Except for you know a little faggot quarterback sneak. And his little rollouts that he does. That's gonna cost him eventually because I'm eventually I'm gonna hit him. He's gonna fumble. But I mean, you know, running backs get paid too. And for some reason, he's just not running the ball. He hasn't run the ball once. Now again, more pressure. Oh, I should have had that pick. On the pass underneath. Come on, Pierre Paul. Pick that ball off. Now that's Pierre Paul was a bright spot in that in that Giants game last week. He played really good. Um, he didn't get any sacks, but he played great against the run. I, I hope he's back to what he's you know what he was a couple years ago because their their defensive line is suspect right now. Oh come on, another pick. They're just bailing this man out right now. Situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read That's two picks right there that I should have had. Third and ten. Ah. Oh. 
And that, that Pierre Paul pick, um, if it would have caught that, he, he, chances are he's probably going to score on it. <sighs> Running back in the flat. There you go. No, third down conversions. They're, they're, they're really fucking me over right now. Big time. Big time. Two interceptions right in my guy's hands just fucking dropped. But anyway, Pierre Paul uh, played really good. Hopefully, he's somewhat back to what he was a couple years ago when they won the Super Bowl. Because other than him, I mean, Kiwanuka is good. Kiwanuka has always been good. He's always been steady. Um, you know what you're going to get from him. He's usually a you know, five or six sack guy. Um, plays good against the run. Plays good against the pass. They played him out of position most of his career, you know, at linebacker. But now he's back on the line, so I think he'll, you know, he'll have a decent year. If he can be uh, somewhat complimentary to Pierre Paul, then their pass rush is going to be pretty decent. First down here after the completion. So and their secondary, I mean, they got Antro Roll. Rolls roll. He's going to do what he does every year. Um, Stevie Brown, if he gets back to what he was two years ago. They're good there. Cromartie. Cromartie is... Um, I actually got lucky on that play because there was another guy that came wide open. Um, he just missed him, thank God. But uh, Cromartie, everyone knows Cromartie's good. So, uh, Walter Thurman. I mean, they got their secondary should be pretty good. And the way it looks right now, until this work-in-progress offense gets, you know, gets in sync somehow their defense is going to have to carry them for a lot of games hopefully they can do it ah okay I tried the bait there I didn't get the pick but at least I got the um, at least I got the bat down or you know, I broke up the pass so that's good but they, they're just giving this guy break after break right now I hate I hate games like that too you're like I said I'm in control of the game I just don't feel like I am because they're they're just they're bailing this man out every chance they get. Now what 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 kind of what kind of flopping sack attempt was that? Come on! Now of course this guy's not going to punt. Chances are he's probably going to uh, convert because again, you know you go for on fourth downs enough times you're going to convert some of them, which is horse shit. But. You know, they've given this guy, you know, huge breaks already, so they're probably going to give him this, too, no matter how good a defense I play. Pisses me off, because you work your ass off to stop a guy, and you fucking can't, because they're giving him break after break. <clears throat> but I really, I got to stop this guy. Go down the field and score. I, I get the ball to start the second half. Chances are, if I, if I stop him and I score, okay... Before the uh, before the end of the half, he's gonna onside kick me to start the second half. I know that. So, I got to I got to really buckle down here. Fourth and nine to go, and they're gonna go for it. This is the, the, right now. This is the biggest play of the game. He'll take the snap from the gun. Has and it stopped. Call oh, man. Woo! I thought I, <laughs> I thought he was gonna break out of that. Okay, all right, now, now again, I'm in control. I feel pretty good about this. I definitely want to get into field goal range and at least have that in my pocket, no doubt. Then, depending on what happens, if I get into field goal range, then I'm going to play for, you know, touch. I don't like playing for field goals, but I at least want it in my back pocket. And I just got a uh, nice 15-yard penalty. That's going to help me out. He, he, you saw he dragged me down by my face mask. So I'm, I'm way in field goal range now. So now I'm just going to run the ball a little bit. Hopefully, I can come up, uh, you know, come up with some good runs here, and uh, take a little bit of time off the clock. Not milk it, but take a little bit of time off the clock, and at the same time, get some good gains. Not like that, though. Uh, but I want to get some good gains, and um, I got I got to score a touchdown here, though. If I score a touchdown here, the game's pretty much over because this guy's not going to stop me. Oh, and there's my touchdown. Now, I scored a little too quick there, but I'll take it because this guy doesn't have a scary offense where it's, you know, where he can gash me for huge plays. He's definitely trying to sit back in the pocket a lot, and um, 
Josh Brown. Wait for guys to get open for, for big plays. So I have that to my advantage right now. The only thing that I don't have to my advantage is that he does have all his timeouts. But what kind of an asshole doesn't run the ball? He hasn't run the ball once. Not once. And like I said, fucking running backs get paid too. So I, why you wouldn't run the ball, I have no idea. You're basically He's basically making it easy for me to play defense right now. Because all I have to do is protect against the pass. First down. He's one of these guys that probably runs the ball once he's inside the uh, you know 10, 15 yard line. Uh, that's just that, that's a stupid football right there. Now he's yeah, going to try him for a bomb. Another interception that I dropped. That's another one. I keep count now. That's the third interception that I dropped. Okay. So they're like I said, they're keep they're trying really hard to keep this man in the game. Thankfully, my defense is playing good enough, and I'm playing good enough on offense where that's not, you know, hurting me that much. But you, all, anyone that plays this game knows it only takes one or two plays, and they're right back in the game. So i got to be really careful here. Now he's going to run a little bench on me. I'm not too worried about bench. Um, I, 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 I have bench pretty much locked up now. Well. He did hit me with a big play right there. He's gonna keep running bench now. He thinks he's got something on me. When you talk about a receiver like these guys, but I'll make my adjustments. <clears throat> my defensive line's got to get pressure though. They're, they're just, just letting him stand back there. Rise up and make the catch. And my my linebacker's not making any play for the ball now. He's just standing back there and letting him catch everything. No time to waste. It's not like I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to bring heat. I'm trying to bring heat, but my defensive line is just not getting there. Stumbling all over the place. That should have been another interception, but I didn't get my feet down. Of course. Of course. So, they're going to make me drop three interceptions. Then I'm going to catch one that's not good because I'm out of bounds. I mean, get the fuck out. How many breaks do you want to give this guy? For real. Unreal. Manzel's back in shotgun formation. Throws the pass. Beeson's there. Oh, man. That was, I, I crushed him on that play. That should have been a fumble. Quarterback. He knows it's zone, and he's going to find That was a big hit stick right there. That, you know, didn't fumble. I noticed the hit sticks don't work that great in this, in, in this game compared to they do in uh, 13. Now, I'm not knocking it because in 13, I feel that there was way too many... Um, Way too many fumbles in that game. Now the guy finally takes a timeout. He has three timeouts. And he finally takes one now. I mean, that, that's just piss poor clock management. I mean, piss poor clock management. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't think he's going to, but I would not be surprised if he actually finally ran the ball here. No, he's not going to. reaches out and grabs it. And he ran... He, he just basically... So that's Basically, fucked his own. He fucked himself out of uh, out of clock because he didn't take his timeouts. And I'm surprised he's not going for an outside kick. I'll give him credit there. I really thought he would go for an outside kick there. <clears throat> I guess he knows that. Um, or maybe maybe he thinks he can stop me on defense. I don't know. But he's not going to stop. He's not going to stop my kick return. Great. Now, and I'm in great field position. Um, all I want to do now is run the ball, take some time off the clock, not play bitch ball and milk the clock, but I just want to take some time off the clock, make this guy, this guy beat himself. I, you know, I, I'm not saying that I had nothing to do with it because I did, um, but he beat himself really because he didn't run the ball. All I did was kept, you know, kept throwing lobs down the field. Eventually, I mean, he made it easy for me to play defense. I still should have had some a lot more sacks than I got, though. There you go. Nice little toss play. And again, my lineman just lets the guy go right by. Just So now, what was great field position uh, is turning out to not be so good right now. Because my, my, my offensive line can't block. Defense comes out in the nickel. Third down. Their fucking offensive line is terrible. It really is. With Jennings. Alright. I'm back in good shape. I got a first um, 
I got a first down. Jim, years ago, you'd never I really, I'm really trying hard to run the ball. I got to admit, his run defense is good. I have to admit that. But part of that is because my offensive line is garbage. And picked up the first down. And Jennings going to secure the handoff. I mean, look at 75. I, where, where is he running to? Oh! Oh! Man, almost a touchdown. Coordinator's done a terrific job so far here. That's a good run. Team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. I'm going to try a little. Set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Try a little stretch play to the right. They come back to the line. He's got it stacked. He's got it stacked, though, so I'm going to audible it over. Here they come back to the line after picking up over. Get in there. Come on, Hillis. Got to punch that ball in. Like a lot of teams in the NFL, once they get the I'm going to try and hit him with a quick uh, quick play action right here. Well, that time they run it and they get very little out of it. Oh, and I got it. Wow, I threw that. You talk about throwing it to a crowd right there. That was a dart. a good arm who can... Who can just fire that football? That would be that's a bullseye on a dartboard right there. Receiver, he's got the talent and the courage to go in. So we're this game's over. I mean, like I said, this guy, this guy basically he beat himself. Is what he did. And you know, not running the ball is just stupidity, all day long stupidity. And the tackles made right. So now you know what he's gonna do here. He's gonna just do more. You know. Line back, uh, you know, sorry, drop back and just just toss the ball all over the place. The Browns are getting set for their next possession. Yeah, he's just going to toss the ball all over the place. He's going to hit his little faggot routes to his running back, his little flat routes. He's got nothing, this guy. And roll. Oh, oh, my God. That's five interceptions that I've dropped now. Five. Three that they uh, just flat out dropped. The fourth one where I caught it out of bounds, and now this one. Five dropped interceptions. I mean, come on. I'm trying to seal this game. I mean, the game is sealed. I'm not saying it's not, but, I mean, this game should have been over in the, in the first half. Not that I want the guy to quit, because like I said, I do want to, um, I still want to show you that replay, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Yeah. Meanwhile, he, he makes an amazing circus catch there. They have double coverage on the wide receiver. They allow the That's nothing. That's Josh Gordon. Um, I don't know if anyone's keeping up on that, but I think he's, he's going to be back this year, because they, they changed the, uh, the, the drug policy in the NFL, so he's actually, uh, chances are he might come back. Uh, in eight games. Oh, fumble, fumble, fumble. Uh, come on! Ah, oh, bullshit! All my guys, all my guys just jumped over the fucking ball. Why are you jumping? Just, just fucking bend down and scoop it up. They're jumping over it. Another break. That's six turnovers. Six more turnovers. Now. This guy should have eight turnovers. And there's Cameron. He should have eight turnovers right now. Picking up the first. The offense is got the two interceptions, but I mean, fucking six, five interceptions dropped, and now this fucking fumble. My guy's just jumping over. Come on. EA, you're keeping this guy in the game right now. I won't call that a dropped interception. I just went for the bat down. But I mean, fucking Jesus Christ. Of this cover two defense. Don't do that. Just break after break. After the Unreal. It brings up and again, and again, the guy still has not run the ball. Not one time has he run the ball. On this play. I'm sorry. That, that's just dumb football right there. He's going to run it with a stupid quarterback. Yeah, that'll get the job done, asshole. It actually pisses me off when people play like this. It really does, because how, how, how stupid are you to not run the ball one fucking time? Three tight end set, and he still didn't run the ball. Unreal. Oh, gee. Now, now he's going to play a little sense of urgency and, and, and hurry up. 
of just moving his football down the field. Stupid motherfucker. In the pocket. Trying to work that left side. And he heads to the sidelines out of bounds. Jim, when you get inside the other team. Now, the clock stopped there. The guy was not out of bounds. You're thinking. I don't know why the clock stopped. Just another, another. Oh, okay, the, the clock is running. I'm sorry. I thought I thought EA was giving him another break because they you know they like to do that to try to keep this guy in the game. But uh, unreal. Standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. He's got the catch, and that's a gain of maybe five. You must be very now. Now I'm I'm actually pissed off because um I don't want this guy to score. I'm actually I really don't want him to score because by rights, by rights I should probably be up like forty to nothing right now. With with all the turnovers I should have had. <clears throat> Has Gordon. Ah, and he finally got his touchdown. That Titans thing That's my fault too. Horrible as user there. Touchdown by the offense there, and you know. And what but you're not gonna be perfect on every play. Gives them confidence, and confidence is a dangerous. Now thing. you know. Uh, keep moving forward after this. I don't know if he's gonna go for um for an onside kick here. The, the, this guy plays really weird. Who doesn't run the ball? I know, I know I keep sounding like a broken record. I'm, I keep going back to that, but it's just dumb football. You're beating yourself by doing that. I mean, I think he's thrown the ball like 40 times now with no, with no runs. Are you that stupid? Catches it at the 9 and starts his return. Able to move past the 20 and brought... Should have had a better return there, but my, my gunner didn't block for me. You know, because why would he? It's not like it's his job or anything. First down. But again, same same game plan as before. Now look at it. Okay, you see his total yards. He's killing me in total yards. And yet look at the score because he doesn't run the ball. Even if I only get, you know, oh, there, there's my run right there. I'm trying. Like I said, I want to establish the run. Take some time off the clock. And um, put this guy away. I should have put him away already. For his next carry. The third quarter comes to a close, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. If I can start, if I can start ripping off more runs like that, I'll be in real good shape. And this is a power formation. I got great blocking in front of me. That's a touchdown. Cruz picked up that last block nicely, sealed the edge. That's Peyton Hillis. Peyton Hillis is a bruiser, but when you get him out in the edge like that, he's got yeah, not great speed, but he's got. He's got enough speed to to get to the sideline, and you know most of the time that's all you need. Giants ready to. So th this game's well in hand. Um, I, I I'll be I'll be bold enough to say this pro this guy probably won't score again unless some bullshit happens, and uh, and they help him out like they've been doing. But eventually, I mean, eventually th these turnovers that they're not giving me, I gotta get one of them. I gotta get at least one more. Anyone that watches this game knows I should have had at least eight right now. At least eight. So, I'm sure I'll probably get at least one more. Fucking give me a, you know, throw me a bone though, EA. Really. The Browns. The Browns got, were in a crazy game last week too against the um, uh, Steelers. They, almost, they were down. I think 26 to three or something, or 23 to three, and at half time, whatever it was, they came back. They almost won the game. Looking across the they almost they almost forced overtime. See, this guy's not going to get it done. Not not when he keeps running small underneath routes like that. It's going to take take him too long, and he's not going to hurry up either. So I guess he knows the game's over. I guess he's just playing out the string. I'm fine with that. But anyway, yeah. So the Browns they they had a crazy game against the Steelers. Um. First down. The Steelers won, but then the Steelers lost last week, uh, this week against the Ravens. Even with Ray Rice gone, who, by the way, I always thought Ray Rice was overrated anyway. He was a good back. He wasn't great. Uh, Breaks the tackle. I thought he was <laughs> broken sacks. Okay, now that's it. The game's over. But anyway, so Ray Rice is gone. I thought he was overrated anyway. He was good, but he wasn't great. There aren't, there aren't really any more great running backs. I mean, Adrian Peterson, of course, he's great, but he he might not play uh, football again. 
with everything he's going through with the child abuse thing now. Um, there aren't really many great running backs anymore. And I don't want to hear about Marshawn Lynch. Marshawn Lynch is great because he's not. Wow. <laughs> Another circus catch. Another circus catch. This guy's got 337 yards passing high and far because of bullshit catches like that. By the quarterback, that throw was right on the money. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah, so P Adrian Peterson might not play again in the NFL. The big play here. Um, you know, with this child abuse thing, he might get a lifetime ban. I don't think he should, but at the same time, I don't condone... Okay, let me put it this way. Michael Vick... Michael Vick killed animals, ki physically killed dogs, and he's still playing in the NFL. Okay. Uh, Peterson didn't kill anybody. Did he do child abuse? Yes. And I'm not condoning that at all. But if you're going to let a guy, a convicted dog killer, play in the NFL, then I'm sorry. You, you, you know, he deserves another chance. Finally. Finally got my, my interception. I knew I was eventually going to get one. One of them that I should have gotten before. But, all right, so that, the game's over. But anyway, so if you're going to let a convicted dog killer play in the NFL, then Lynch and uh, and, and Peterson should, should be allowed to play again. Serve their penalty, whatever it's going to be. Now I'm just gashing this guy for huge runs. Um, but anyway, serve their penalty. You know, whatever, whatever it's going to be, a year ban or rest of the season, whatever it is, but they should be allowed to come back and play. Plaxico Burris, you know, went to jail uh, for his thing. He was able to come back and play. Vic went to jail, served his sentence. He was able to come back and play. Um, this is not really, I mean, I guess it's a criminal act if you want to call it that. The defense but here. they should be allowed to come back and play. Whether we were, whether we agree with it or not, you can't set a standard for one guy and have it be different for, for someone else. To me, child abuse is bad, of course, but he didn't kill anybody. What Vic did, in my opinion, is worse because he actually took a life. He actually took lives. He killed. He, ki he killed an animal or animals, I should say. And there you go, Peyton Hillis. I just ran it back in, and uh, you know, put this game out of reach. But so uh, that's my opinion on that. Um, I think they should be should be allowed to come back and play, whether we agree with what they did or not. I mean, geez, no, none of this stuff is new, by the way. None of this stuff. This stuff's been going on. They're they're only people just because they're in the public eye doesn't mean that they're not people who do stupid things and make stupid mistakes. And I'm not condoning it. I'm not making excuses for it because, you know, to me, <laughs> they're going to give him another touch. No, they're not holding. They're going to uh, holding flag. But anyway, um, this, this is nothing new. This has been going on forever. Uh, Mark Gastineau, anyone knows who that is if they follow football. He played for the Jets. He beat up his wife. Um, Lawrence Taylor. Anyone? Everyone knows who Lawrence Taylor is. That guy was in and out of trouble with the law his whole career and beyond for drugs and all kinds of stuff. He was able to keep playing. Um, Ray Lewis. You know, he, he was involved in a murder. Whether he participated or whatever the case may be, um, he, he was able to come back and play. I don't know the details on that, so I'm not going to comment on it. I just know that he was involved somehow, where someone got killed. He was able to come back and play. So, you know, you can't, you can't now. These guys shouldn't be banned, is what I'm getting at, because there's no precedent set for for these kinds of crimes that that, that are going on. What they should do is let they're, they're going to come back and play. But from that point forward, you set a precedent, you set a standard for, you know, whoever violates this or whoever violates that, from this point forward, this is the penalty. I know they're, they're, they're trying to make this stuff up as they go, but there's nothing set in place as far as these kind of violations yet. So. Scramble now. 
Come on, give me that pick. That that's just that's this guy's whole game right now. Just keep throwing bombs. Good position. I batted the ball down, but I, I really want to pick because I want to score again now. But he played it smart. I really want to score again. My running game is just destroying this guy. I gashed this guy for I don't know how many runs, but that's my point. Who knows? If this guy would have ran the fucking ball, he would have been, get, been, been able to gash me. But he didn't even try. Oh, oh yeah, let me keep running with Manzo because that's going to get it done. How stupid is that? Just faggot football. It really is. Stand back there, don't run the ball, just and just lob the ball up every fucking time, every play. That's just ridiculous. Well, whatever, it's his fantasy. If he doesn't want to win games and he keeps playing like this, this is what he's going to get. Now, nah, let, let's hurry up now. Let, let's try and get back in the game. Dumb motherfucker. Hey, don't worry about <laughs> But anyway, yeah, so like I said, let these guys come back and play. Set the precedent now, from this point forward, that you're not going to tolerate it. This is what's going to happen, etc., etc., and go from there. All right, now what the fuck just happened here? Did the game just glitch out on me? Let me take a timeout. All right, there we go. I thought the game. Oh man, EA, you, you know you're giving me a little bit of a heart attack here because you tried really hard to keep this guy in the game. I thought they were going to glitch it out on me, where I would have to shut it off. Unreal. Play number six coming up on this drive. Hey, look at it. the guy had five rushing yards. I think that's what it said, five rushing yards. I don't even remember him rushing the ball once, so other than uh, it, it, his, other than this, his little faggot scrambles. And he caught that? Come on! Again, that should have been a bat down or a pick. He's getting circus catch after circus catch. He put it right That's the only reason that he's anywhere remotely scoring in this game is because of bullshit players like that. Now, I know I shouldn't complain because the game's over, but I dominated this game, and I it didn't feel like it. It really did not feel like the game was dominated. But that's all right. I want to score again now. I, I want to, you know, he's going to score on me. I want to score on him. Now, how is that not a horse collar? I have no idea. He took me down by the back of my head, it looked like. They don't call that. I don't think they call uh, horse collars in this game. There's a lot of penalties that, uh, that, uh, that they, in, you know, in the NFL that they don't call in this game. Now, I'm not saying I want to load it with penalties either because that, that's annoying. But, oh, oh, man, if I could have just recovered. I had my blockers there. I stumbled. Now watch this tight end streak here. This should get open again. Yep. Ah, oh, man, my guy dropped the ball. I don't care if I don't convert. I'm still going for it on fourth down. I'm actually kind of annoyed right now. They're giving this guy every break in the world uh, as far as the circus catches go, and I can't catch shit all of a sudden. In the slot. But Beckham should get open here, which he just did. That's a nice third down conversion. And like I said, I want to score. I really want to score here. Look at those feet. I didn't throw the ball a lot, but I didn't need to either. Good position to throw the football. First down at the 43. Beckham again. Oh man, if I could have just recovered enough, I'd still be running for days. Impossible with the rules. Run for days. That time they have double coverage on him. It doesn't matter. Now I'm going to try and trick him here with a little screen. All you can do is raise your arm and go, well, we did our best. Oh, I shouldn't have thrown that. Able to swat the pass away. But okay, yeah. I threw it. Where's my circus catch? When his hands went up, the defensive back jumped up. The screen was open, too. I should have took that screen. Beckham is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Uh, now he's covering it. No, he's not. He got sucked into the block. Dansby's, the one I should have juked there. I would have had a first down, but that's fine. Four coming up. I had, I'd say I had a really efficient game. Really efficient game. Throws the pass. Beckham. Beckham again. Damn right I'm taking my time out. Okay. 
It is a dickhead move on my part. I'm not going to lie. And I actually hate when people do it to me, so I really shouldn't be doing this. But I'm more mad at the game than the opponent right now because they gave him all the, uh, the breaks that they gave him, so I really want to just score one more time just to say fuck you to EA. Not, 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 the, uh, not the guy. Not, you know, not my opponent. They're winning the football game. Now, that should have been a touchdown there, but let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Beckham, I'm looking for Beckham here, over the middle. He's got that nice little. Dri yeah, there you go, wide open. Touchdown. It's almost like a, um, a zig, a zig post route. I don't even know what you would call it, but it is a nice little route. Because it's got a double move in there where it looks like he's running straight, then he zigs over to the uh, to the right. It, it is a nice little play there. Boot it down the field. So, I just want to go back real fast and um, just just return the ball, dude. In the game, he's gonna throw a hail mary, of course, some kind. He's gonna go my normal defense. I probably should have picked three man up deep, but I don't care. I got four safeties going over the top, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna play them all back. Would be nice if I could end this game with a with a pick. But anyway, so I just want to go back. Uh, once this is over, I want to go back into the first quarter and um, and show you that sack that my uh, that I should have had when my guy just ran right past him. Oh man. Gotta give me that pick, EA. But anyway, it was a good game. The guy played like an asshole, didn't run the ball. Watch the stats for a second. I'm gonna show you the stats real quick for uh, for his running game. Go into uh, statistics, now watch this. Look at his running game. One, one carry. For one yard. I don't count Manziel stats for because that, that's just nonsense. But man, I had balance. I had really nice balance. I had mixture. You, you know, you like to have mixture. But anyway, let me go back in uh, to the replay in the, in the first quarter. I want to show you that that uh, sack that I should have had. Um, it was in the first quarter. It was a big gain. I think this is it here. I'm almost positive this is it. Watch this. No, that wasn't it. Um, it was a bigger play. Is it that one? It might have been that. It might be. It might be this one. Yeah, look at that. Look, look at my lineman. <coughs> he just runs right past him. Where, where the fuck is he going? He, he should have been sacked all. He should have been sacked all day long. So, whatever. I should have. And then again, my my uh, my linebacker doesn't make a play on the ball. He just stands there. Make a play, dude. Like back the ball down, pick it off something. You're in position. Two broken plays right there. But anyway, you guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe, feedback. Uh, I'm up for all of it. Requests too. If there's any, if you guys want to see me play with another team, which I don't like doing. I am a Giants fan. I. I cringe at the idea of playing with someone else's team, but you know, for the sake of uh, subscribers and whatever, if that's what you want to see, I'll do it. So I'm out. I'll see you guys next.